Sonia Stevens introduces us to the people who work for the nonprofit and found out why they believe their work is so important. Five days a week, you'll find Leroy Commodore driving for Meals on Wheels. I do because it's fun. It's fun. I, I love doing it. You know, and I love people. So I love feeding the people. Every day, the same route, done with a big smile and a lot of heart because he realizes how much it means to them, especially those that are homebound. A lot of people don't get nothing. Now, some of them, you know, have meal, but a lot of them don't have anything to eat. You know, this meal is a meal for them for the day. Leroy is one of 18 drivers delivering meals in Charleston County. Overall, they serve 650 meals a day, but it's more than just the meals. They also operate the Senior Center. It's primarily for low-income seniors who live in Charleston County. We pick them up every day, bring them in, feed them breakfast, we do some sort of activity. That activity can be playing games like bingo. It's all free of charge and a change of pace so the seniors can get some social interaction. For those that need a little extra food from time to time, there is an emergency food pantry. If we have a home delivered meal client that the driver finds that they ha have need for additional food, we are able to have him come back here, he, he loads a box of food and takes it back to that client. And then the center clients have the same ability where they're able to come in and enjoy that ability to kind of take the break off of that, that monthly income that we've got. We all know how expensive groceries are right now. Right next door to the center is the Ansonboro House, which is low income housing for seniors owned by the nonprofit. We built that in 1984 because we found that so many of our clients needed a safe space to live that they could afford as they aged. So it's the rents based on their income and they have different supportive services there that help keep them at home, which is where seniors want to be. The organization is currently helping about a thousand seniors a year, making sure none are hungry or forgotten. Sonia Stevens, News 4. If you want to help supply the food pantry, become a volunteer driver, or support one of their upcoming events, head to our website, abcnews4.com.